Hi you guys, this is going to be a collective reading, so if you're watching this, I'm going to be picking up on only the viewers of this reading, okay? I'm not picking up on a huge number of people here. I'm picking up on only the viewers of this reading spirit. Show me what they need to see. I will be picking up messages during this reading you guys and some of those messages may not resonate with you um not every single message will but just ignore it um and continue to watch so that you can hear the messages that are meant for you okay all right so the first card you have is the six of swords and then you have the king of pentacles you guys are literally, if you've just recently moved or if you're planning on moving, um, you're looking at something huge that's going to happen here, okay? I don't know if this is a physical move or what you're doing here, but your move is actually going to bring you a lot of financial stability here it's a really really good move it's a really really good judgment call that's the message that spirits are trying to tell you here to to go yeah this is this is a wish fulfillment all right you have the star which is aquarius energy in the center of your reading you have the four of cups and the advice of the Four of Cups, just so you guys know, sometimes it can be um, do not miss an opportunity. Be careful, do not miss an opportunity. And it's showing up here, touching all of the other energy that's showing up in your tarot today. So just be aware of that. The next card you have is the Six of Pentacles. And then you have the Queen of Cups. the ace of wands this is such such good energy you guys you have the five of swords and the eight of swords showing up here in the future and we're going to go back and clarify all of this so that we can see what's going on um i feel like what you're not aware of right now is on the bottom of the deck you have the three of wands and you have the two of cups There's something about someone here at a distance. It's like they're waiting for you. They see they see you like off in a distance. All right, someone's waiting for you. I don't know exactly what that means, you guys, but there seems to be um, a lot of conflict here in the energy a lot of red tape that you got to get through in order to um completely get to the other side it's almost like also you guys what i'm seeing here is there's someone here in your energy also and i'm really feeling the same thing that i got yesterday like this is not about them anymore if you haven't watched that reading, go back and watch that because this is telling me the same thing. This is not about them anymore, but them, whoever they are, are showing up here in your energy. Like, I feel like this person's wondering what's going on with you, why you've distanced yourself. But let's clarify, you guys. Let's see what's going on. If you guys really think about it, the energy I'm looking at here is once you make this move, and some of you have, there are so many open doors in front of you, doors that you haven't seen, all right, because your focus has been on someone else's life too much. 
What do the collective need to know? Yeah, you're moving away from um, something here that you believed in. The Hierophant is Taurus energy, but there's something here that you believed in, some some type of a commitment or um, a belief system, like I said, that you were fighting for. Now I'm seeing you giving up here. It's like it, it's not, it seriously is losing interest, all right? You have the High Priestess and you have the Page of Wands. The High Priestess is Pisces energy. And you're being very silent here. And there's someone here in your energy. I'm seeing them, um, you know, they're trying to be quiet and still like you are. But they're you're really driving them crazy. They're wondering what is going on you know, in your head and in your mind and why you've become silenced. It's like someone here saying, this is not, this is not like them. This is not like the collective. You're, you're different now. And your silence is, is really driving someone crazy here. But like I said, this is not about them anymore. This is about you. You're facing judgment and judgment is facing you. <laughs> sorry and judgment is a major arcana okay what's on your mind right now in the king of pentacles energy is your security and there's something here that you're that you're hoping and waiting for with the three of wands and it's something new it's not something old you have the ace of wands here so there's something here in your energy that you're waiting for. It could be some type of legal matter coming towards you. Some type of um, judgment that goes in your favor. Tell me, let's look at judgment. Why is, I feel like you may feel stuck in a certain position until whatever it is that you're waiting for is handed to you, is given to you. Tell me why judgment is here. Yeah, see, look. You're tired, you're exhausted in the Nine of Wands energy, and you're waiting for these messages to come in. And um, these messages could, could be what you're waiting for here is to travel or to be able to get all of this busy energy done that needs to be done. Because once you get it done, I don't know why I'm seeing this right now, but you have the, the Eight of Wands and the Nine of Wands. So there's a whole bunch of stuff here that you need to get done. Once you can remove eight of these wands, then you have your Ace of Wands. You have this exciting new thing that you can go after. And this is a lot of stuff that needs to, that needs to be taken care of. And um, there's a lot of determination in your energy here where you can't give it up. You need to get it done before you can before you can set yourself free. And that's why the star is here. It's like you're still in the tower. You're still in going through something in your mind. All right. I see that here. But right now, the energy is shifting into the star, into the hope for the future, and not wanting what you're leaving behind anymore. You, I still see you thinking about it a little bit here. You can see it out the corner of your eye. And you know that you can go to whatever it is that you're saying, I don't want you anymore. You know you can still go there, but your the interest here is no. I already know what that is. I I don't want to do that anymore. Tell me why the star is here. The lovers, Gemini energy. The ten of swords and the three of cups. All right. So the lovers. The reason the star is here. This this healing energy and a wish fulfillment is because you're making a choice 
and the choices here you have the ten of swords and you have the three of cups um you're making a choice to let something go to end something to bring in a new energy and for some of you guys this is this new energy coming in is a reconciliation with your family your children an ex but let's see why you are so disgusted with what you're trying to let go of because it's showing up here as a huge betrayal tell me why the four of cups is here the five of wands someone's um put you into a bind here where there's a lot of other energy a lot of other people involved or chaos confusion petty games they leave you like you're you know like um all of this stuff right here the devil is capricorn energy but all of this stuff right here is games all right and it's nonsense and do you see the truth you see clearly through the energy of this devil and you see something about whatever this situation is that you were involved in you see it as a whole bunch of problems and petty games and you tried to talk through it but there's no talking through it you still end up here stuck all right and so the only the only thing you can do is to walk away and i really see you here like this is becoming easy for you to walk away because you know that if you stay in this position that it brings in this type of an energy this conflict and all of this other stuff that you want to unravel yourself from that's why the ace of swords is here it's because i already you already know the truth you don't want to be in all of these messed up petty games anymore you already feel betrayed but whoever this person is they are they are so tied to you and i really don't want to talk about them that much but they're showing up here like as if they feel like um they don't know how to let you go all right there's a lot of codependency here what you don't see is them like this they're worried they feel you slipping away so i'm i'm just feeling like spirits are bringing these messages and showing me these messages so that you understand that whoever betrayed you here is experiencing their own karma they're experiencing um the what they've done to you is coming back to them and i know a lot of people will tell me i don't want that i just want to be free but this is this is what spirits are telling me is what they've done it's going to come back onto them it's karma it has to tell me why the six of pentacles is here but it's almost like as if you're swapping sides all right and i don't want them to show up anymore but they're watching you the nine of swords is here and it's really weird because um they're watching you but they're i feel like they're doing it silently the merchant is you and normally on the six of pentacles you see a giving to two different energies here you're not doing that there's only one energy here that you're focused on that you're turning to so you're definitely turning your back on whatever the toxic energy is here and turning it towards another one. <coughs> when I look into the future, you guys have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and then um, you got the Five of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Tell me why the Queen of Cups is here.
You're going to get what you want, you guys. Look at the Queen of Cups showing up again. To clarify the Queen of Cups. You're going to get exactly what you want. And I feel like right here in the future, there's a lot here that you're keeping to yourself. That you're keeping secret. Um, with the Seven of Swords, you're not wanting to show your hand. But there's something new that's coming in. And you, I see you keeping this a secret. And some of you guys already know what it is. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Oh, some, see, look at how it's trying to hide. Ooh, the Five of Swords. This is a, this is you um, knowing that there's a fight here that you can't win and you're walking away from it. And the Five of Swords showed up over here too. And it, yeah, you are literally, you guys, this Five of Swords energy that's showing up here in the future, you're throwing your swords down. You're done talking. All right? You're being very, very secretive here. You're showing up like, like you feel like yourself with the queen of cups regardless of what gender you are or um you know what sign you are um there's this energy of i can't let you in any anymore i can't open my heart to you anymore You've opened your heart and trusted someone that has betrayed you terribly. And as much as you gave and you gave and you gave, it, it's never, it's always comes back to the same old thing. It's always the same game. It's mind games. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like the only way to get away from these mind games that someone's playing with you is to play the same mind game back. And that's the energy that is shifting here. Is instead of you being open, you're playing the same mind game back to unravel what has been done and to get yourself out. And you be aware of this, all right? Because there is someone here that has your heart. And um, they are, I'm going to try to figure out what it is. But this person's coming back and they're going to lie to you about something. And what what this lie is, it's because they know that you, that you have a big heart as the Queen of Cups. And they're going to try to use manipulation and mind games to get what they want. So beware of this. I'm going to try to find out more about it. Tell me why the Five of Swords is here. This person feels like um, this is a battle, this is a war, and they're, they are willing to use anything possible to win, to get what they want, because they literally feel you turning your back on them. Okay, so you have the Hermit. This is Virgo energy. Tell me about this Hermit. And you have the Five of Cups. They're going to tell you something along the lines. Like, this person comes to you very, very sad. Very quiet. All right? And they're going to tell you they've been thinking a lot about what's happened. And they want to make a reconciliation with you. They want to make things better. But I'm, I don't even... I feel like this energy needs to be seen, but it's really someone here that is regretting what they've done to you is what they're going to say. But I literally do not believe this person. All right. They're looking at something else while they're telling you this. And it's some type of gaslighting or mind game that's going to show up here in the future. So be aware of that. Keep your eye on this. Ace of Wands. Tell me why the Ace of Wands is here.
Look at the Ace of Cups. What is this Ace of Cups? The Seven of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Weird. Don't get it. I, I get it now. It's like, um, you guys have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Wands showing up here in the future. And what I'm seeing here is you are in the five of pentacles energy okay so you could feel like you don't feel well someone doesn't feel well or you feel like i don't have enough money to do what i need to do i don't have it i see a lot of doors opening up here for you that you're not seeing yet in your future like all of these options all of these choices and one of the options one of the choices that are opening up the door to you is something that is very very exciting to you something that you want um something that for some of you you've been looking for um something in specific like a home or something like that but you felt like i don't have enough money to do it this door it's huge it's going to open up for you Okay, tell me why the Seven of Cups is here. The Two of Swords. Yeah, you don't see it. Ew. Yeah, one of the things that's going to open up here for you is, is, of course, the very thing that you don't want. So be aware of that because this person is showing up again here like as if they're going to come to you and say now what do i do and they may try to blame you for their circumstance for their situation all right and try to get a hold of you but there could be a block in communication or you're closed off to them um you have the five of swords showing up here whoever this person is for a lot of you guys you don't want to fight with them anymore you don't you don't want to deal with them anymore i feel like you might be trying to wrap up unfinished business right now but i see this person you know really really experiencing some type of immediate karma here difficult times but the thing is is i feel like you've warned whoever this is they wanted to go out. They wanted to party, gossip, um, and betray you. They could have involved a third party. But as you end this cycle, all right, there's somebody here that you're leaving behind that I just can't get him out of here. The Emperor is Aries energy that is going to be fighting back. So be aware of that. The this person for some reason they because of this showing up in the center of your reading they feel like they need you no matter what they did to you they they felt like you would always be there but you know what they did it one too many times there is no 11 of swords tell me why the three of cups is here I feel like whoever this person is, you guys, they made you feel like an outsider a lot. Like you weren't involved in in the family or whatever they had going on. It's like you were you were left feeling like an outsider. Tell me why the two of cups is here. The four of swords and the four of wands.
Even though it hurts, even though there's emotions here, the moon is Pisces Cancer energy. Even though it hurts, even though there's a lot of emotions here, whatever they're trying to offer you, you don't want it. Look at look at how stubborn you are. It's like, I don't want to be in that situation. You may love this person because your heart is showing up here, but you don't want to be in the situation that they're putting you in. And there seems to be some type of reconciliation here um, with your family or, or an ex even. It's almost like there's a homecoming. Tell me why the Three of Wands is here. There's someone here that shows up and it's almost like um, it's almost like I'm hearing someone is finally showing up and this could be like a new love coming into your life for some of you guys. But there's someone here showing up. There could be a bit of an age difference here. Um, whoever this person is, they're not really sure how you're going to react to them. So that's why there's been a delay. But I see them, you know, like making a snap decision here to contact you. Okay, so... That's going to be like moving forward further into the future. I feel like if I keep pulling cards right there, we're going to go. But there is someone else here in the future that's showing up here. What do the collective need to know? Embrace the flow of life. And this is full moon in Gemini. And keep your heart open. First quarter moon in Libra. I feel like someone done a lot of you guys really wrong with the energy I'm seeing here. And spirits are telling you to leave your heart to open. All right. This was just a, a chapter that you had to go through. And it is not to close the doors and to shut yourself down into being the hermit forever. All right, you guys, I love you guys. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for taking the time to like and subscribe so that you can find me again. Because I know a lot of um, YouTube videos that I watch and I didn't subscribe to. I can't remember the name of them. And YouTube's not showing me their videos anymore. And I don't know how to how to find them again. So make sure you take the time to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And this is your familiar witch tarot. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Namaste.